Good morning, everyone. Uh, I guess all of you can hear me. Uh, my name is Mejo Varghese. I'm uh, the technical consultant from Transoft Solutions. And I'm very pleased to welcome you all uh, to the first webinar on auto turn and Plex Earth integration with Google Earth. Um, I'm sure a lot of people are still joining in. I will anyway start my presentation. I have I'm joined by my colleague, uh, Nicholas from Plexeth, and we will shortly start the presentation. All right, good good morning or good afternoon wherever you are. And I know there are a lot of people also from uh, outside North America who has registered for today's session. I welcome you all to, uh, to the webinar session today. Uh, we'll just go through a few, uh, couple of slides and then we will do a presentation or a demo on how we can integrate uh, 3D models created from Autoturn Pro and viewing them quickly and easily on, on Google Earth. So many of you know, uh, this webinar is co-hosted by Transoft Solutions and Plex Earth. And uh, just have a brief introduction on both of us. Uh, my name is Mejo Varghis, and as I said earlier, I'm a technical consultant with Transoft Solutions. My background is uh, I'm an engineer by profession. I've been in the software, uh, design software field, especially in the engineering software field for the last nearly 20 plus years. Uh, I'm, I've been uh, with Transoft for nearly seven years looking after both their simulation and design business uh, products, um, mostly as a consultant for especially helping our users understand our products and utilize them better and solve their uh, real world problems. I am joined by my colleague from Plex Earth, uh, uh, Nicholas Paraskevopoulos. Um, Hello, Major. And, yeah, please, Nicholas, have a few words. Uh, I'll leave it to you to introduce yourself. Perfect. Thank you very much. I'd like to welcome you all uh, on our end uh, to this joint webinar uh, that we do uh, Auto Term Pro and Plex Earth. Uh, I'm a customer support specialist uh, here at Plexcape. My background is in civil engineering. And in today's webinar, we're going to look into ways in which the two software can collaborate to bring out the best in your design work. Uh, we believe that the, um, the workflows that we've established through our collaboration uh, enable a very seamless transition and collaboration uh, to publish your project your auto term project into Google Earth, among other things. And that's what we're going to look in today's uh, technical demonstration that will follow this brief presentation. So with no further ado, uh, if you want to take over, Major, and we kick it off. All right, thanks, Nicholas, uh, for the brief introduction. Um, just want to briefly explain what each of us do. I'm sure many of you are using our products, but there might be still be a few people who are not familiar with who is Transoft Solutions. So uh, just a brief introduction about my company. I'm from Transoft Solutions. So we are a transportation design software organization or a software company. Uh, we deal with transportation uh, design solutions and uh, we are a company uh, run by transportation engineers. Uh -huh. So uh, we are transportation engineer design specialists, I would say. Our products, uh, one of our main product uh, uh, in the market is AutoTurn. AutoTurn is a vehicle swept path analysis tool. Uh, we launched this products back maybe 27 years, nearly 27 years ago. And we have over the years 
um, uh, listen to the industry, listen to the market, and have a lot of suite of products, uh, especially for the transportation market. Uh, today we are focusing on AutoTurn Pro, uh, which is an advanced version of AutoTurn, which lets you also do swept path on a 3D model. And uh, so we're going to see how uh, we can incorporate that 3D models created in AutoTurn Pro and publish them into Google Earth for easy viewing and seeing it in a real world environment. Now, we are a global company and uh, Transfer Solutions has uh, users in more than 130 countries across the globe. Uh, our headquarters, our head office is based out of Vancouver in Canada. And we, our European offices, we have a support and sales office in Rotterdam, Netherlands, and an Asia Pacific office uh, supported from Sydney, Australia. Uh, again, um, I think I mentioned about AutoTurn. So we do have uh, three business units. One is a vehicle simulation unit. So AutoTurn is a vehicle simulation software. Uh, so we do have the largest collection of libraries of vehicles in the product. Uh, today you're going to see AutoTurn. So in addition to that, I just want to briefly mention, we also have a, a business unit called the Civil and Transportation Business Unit. And we do have solutions, niche solutions, targeting specific areas of civil design or transportation design. So we do have Torres roundabouts and Nexus DDI tools that fall under the civil and transportation business unit. Uh, also want to mention, we also have an airport infrastructure business unit. Uh, products include the AV plan, suite of products for doing aircraft simulation, and checking for aircraft movements on taxiways, runways, and also doing passenger boarding bridge calculation, the passenger boarding bridge design, both in a 2D and a 3D model. Uh, today our focus will be on vehicle simulation and Plex Earth integration. Uh, just have another slide to just show you the suite of products that we have under AutoTurn family of products. So um, I'm sure that you will be seeing AutoTurn Pro and uh, I'm very excited to show you that. At the same time, just want to briefly mention a few other products in the list. Uh, AutoTurn Revit, for people who are on Revit platform, we do have a solution for you, okay? Uh, so that's AutoTurn Revit. It runs on the Autodesk Revit platform. And we do also have AutoTurn Rail, which is for light rail analysis, especially uh, considering static and dynamic envelopes. And uh, that's two other products I thought I'll quickly mention. And on the civil and transportation, let me just highlight to you uh, products Torres Roundabouts, uh, which is for uh, innovative roundabout design tool that, that uses the vehicle envelope method as a background engine, you know, to generate the roundabout geometry. And uh, also we have a new product called the Nexus DDI, which is a great innovative tool to do uh, conceptual design of uh, DDI or diverging diamond interchange. Uh, we have product, another product which I want to uh, tell you is a park cat for, is, is for parking layout design and also um, guide sign and guide sign plus is for highway sign design. On the aviation side, we have the AV plan suite of products and also want to uh, briefly tell you that we also have a software or a tool for a capacity simulation, our arc board suite of products. So um, many of you are familiar with AutoTurn. I am I'm sure that many of you have used AutoTurn in the past or um, no AutoTurn, but I'm sure there are still a, uh, a few of you who don't know what is swept path or what is AutoTurn. So I just have the slide to just tell you what is swept path analysis. So uh, a swept path analysis is a, a simulation of a vehicle turning movement, a geometric simulation, uh, you know, on a on a CAD drawing or on a CAD environment. Okay, so there are two things which you want to make sure you can accomplish with a swept path. One is uh, you want to make sure your design is safe and at the same time efficient enough to accommodate different types of vehicles, uh, you know. So here in this um, slide, I have a uh, example of, uh, of an intersection of a passenger car making a right turn. And it's, uh, as you can see there, uh, the vehicle uh, swept path is drawn for you and in blue and you can you can easily uh, note that uh, there is no issue with the vehicle making a right turn uh, you know it's on the same lane uh, making towards a right turn to the right and uh, the intersection looks perfectly okay, okay for a 
vehicle like this to make a right turn. But what happens if you have a larger vehicle? That's where you want to kind of look into, hey, you know, I have a delivery truck now. Can it make a right turn? So that's where our tools come into the picture to make you make the right decision there. Hey, uh, is this particular intersection suitable for large vehicles? Or should we modify the intersection to accommodate larger vehicles? So um, this will give you an idea, a brief idea of what is swept path. So auto turn uh, is basically a swept path analysis tool. Uh, the basic functionality of swept path is what I just mentioned now. Uh, so we will see some more uh, of that during our technical demo. Um, and I'm sure that you will understand more of the tool as we go along. Now, we always talked about Auto Turn, and we now we have the Auto Turn Pro. Uh, Auto Turn Pro was launched a couple of years ago, maybe five, six years ago. So we can now also do swept path on a 3D model. So what you saw earlier was doing a 2D drawing. Now you can do a swept path on a 3D model, as you can see on the picture on the right. Uh, you can check for clearance analysis, you know, as a vehicle moves under a barrier, you know, or under a bridge um, or an overpass, and you can see whether there is a conflict uh, uh, between that, or you can check for underside clearances, you know, as you have a low boy trailers and large vehicles, whether they'll scrape it on the ground. So those kind of analysis you can now do with Auditon Pro. I uh, just want to mention that um, Auditon is the most widely used swept path, swept path tool. Uh, there are three things I want to highlight here, why we are number one. Uh, is, the, is, is our one as our research and development. Uh, we have done extensive field tests to prove that, uh, especially, and we have made sure uh, through our field tests that the results that you produce in the software match nearly 100% with the field tests done on the field. And we have over the years been collaborating with uh, research bodies like ASH2 and TRB. And want to highlight one important point. Our order turn software has helped the ASH2 uh, with the latest green book revision of the turning template. So I can, I'm proud to say that auto turn was used for the Astro green book vehicle turning template chapters. So uh, the industry has recognized us and our clients have recognized us over the years. And another thing I want to also highlight is our constant innovation, especially uh, with the new additional tools we have like 3D analysis, which I just mentioned, uh, sight line and stop line analysis. So so, and automating paths within the drawing. So we have been trying to innovate. We have added libraries of vehicles over the years, listen to our clients, listen to our users. We have specialized transport vehicles now wanting to transport large vehicles like a wind turbine blade transporters. So, and we also listen to our clients when they need a specific vehicle. We, we create them for them, you know, our project support services group are involved with that. So uh, just want to mention that order turn has been used by a lot of clients and just this slide will give you an idea of uh, all the Department of Transportation agencies in North America uh, using order turn. Uh, very uh, honored to say that more than 95% of the DOTs have standardized on order turn. So here in this picture, you'll see uh, uh, clients uh, on the light blue, they are all order turn clients and clients using order turn pro are uh, shown to you in dark blue. Uh, most of the DOTs are now moving towards 3D modeling, 3D BIM, uh, open roads, and they are moving in the, they are in the process of moving, have an integrated 3D modeling environment. So you will see more of the clients now moving to order turn pro in the next year. So this is a slide which I thought I'll include within the presentation just to show you the our reach within uh, North America. This doesn't include clients in Canada, sorry. <laughs> I didn't have that uh, with me now, but I thought I'll keep uh, the slides to a limit uh, during the presentation today. Uh, just a brief on some of the cities and municipalities who have adopted uh, auto turn products. Uh, and again, these are uh, some of the largest cities in both in Canada and in the United States by population. And you can see it's I'm sure you're familiar with all of all of these cities. And um, uh, in addition to the government agencies like the DOTs and the cities, uh, I, I, I can say all of the large ENR firms, large design firms, large architectural firms uh, are users of our auto turn product. Uh, this is a slide on some of the. Uh, I would just uh, I didn't have the list of the whole list of clients, so I just put in a slide just to highlight a few of our clients who are using auto turn. As you can see, all of the top design firms. Uh, the top architectural firms uh, are in this list here. Uh, so 
let me just again tell you our return is not limited to just to transportation design firms or architectural firms or municipalities or dot's it's also used in companies like boeing gm um, and also uh, small firms like real estate firms or uh, you know you name it you know so there is no uh, limit to what kind of projects you're working on and where you'll need all return. Um, I would uh, now uh, want to also introduce Plexer, but I think the best person to do that is Nicholas. So Nicholas, you want to kind of briefly explain about your company? Perfect. Thank you very much, Major. Um, so what is Plexer? Plexer is an add-on extension to AutoCAD, which enables the user to establish a two-way connection with Google Earth. Um, what we're doing basically is that we're changing the way infrastructure projects are being designed worldwide since 2009. And how do we do that? Simple. By offering you the complete 3D geographical view of your project area in just a matter of minutes. We believe that the more information is available to the user from inside the road kind environment, the more informed decisions they can make about their design. And now we're gonna go ahead and look at the features that allow us to do just that. The first main feature of Plex Earth is the ability to import high quality geo-referenced imagery in just a matter of seconds. So what we have here is uh, a, a project area inside our AutoCAD environment that we've imported uh, through Google Earth. Uh, to do that, we use over 3,000 coordinate systems that uh, we support worldwide. By moving on to the next slide, here we see uh, the actual design work that was done for this Roadworks project. And you can see that uh, due to the fact that it is geo-referenced, you can see how the design blends in very seamlessly, geo-referenced and very well aligned with the actual project that was delivered. And if I just move the slide back and forth, you can see how very well it aligns with the actual project that was delivered. Uh, so besides Google Earth, you can also choose between a number of providers such as Bing Maps, OpenStreetMap, etc. You can also connect to any web map service that you have access to, tile servers, etc. As long as you have the URL to have access to that web map service, you can connect to it through our integrated map explorer. Lastly, and this is a new service that we offer. Uh, we offer you the ability to connect to paid providers through our time views tool, which is the result of our collaboration with BirdEye. This allows us to import up-to-date imagery, high quality imagery from providers such as Airbus, Digital Globe, and Planet. In this example, we see the progress of the Dubai Marina in the United Arab Emirates as it is being constructed through the various stages of the project's life cycle. So here you can see the high quality imagery as the project goes along, November 2017, June 2018, all the way up to January 2019. So you do have uh, a very uh, detailed information of how the project is moving along. Another example of this, of the very up-to-date imagery, uh, here we see the case of a dam collapse in Brazil. On the left we have an image from uh, January 18th, uh, the dam collapse here happened on the 25th of January. And as you can see on the right, in just four days, you have updated imagery that shows the scale of the damage of the destruction on this area. And this is an actual image you can import inside your AutoCAD environment to use it uh, as design information, uh, gather information from it, assess it, etc. And there are various uses you, you can make of this tool. Uh, and the updated imagery is a very powerful tool uh, in your uh, disposal. So the first thing that we saw, the first main feature of Plex Earth is the ability to import aerial and satellite imagery, high quality imagery, geo-referenced directly into AutoCAD. The second main feature of Plex Earth is the ability